Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a super rainy day. I just got home from work and I was feeling like I wanted to do a little decorating in the living room and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson and I love to share content that is all about homemaking. So decorating, cooking, cleaning, and just kind of the simple day in the life. I am a mom of four and I have a full-time job, but I really love coming here and just sharing little fun parts of making our house a home. So if you like that kind of content, hit the subscribe button. Button. Otherwise, let's get into this beautiful day. I usually try to leave the house early, early in the morning, and then I pick the kids up from school. So I'm usually home between three and four. Um, and I just thought it was such a beautiful day. I wanted to share that beautiful rain. It was coming down so hard and I thought, what a perfect opportunity. The kids were finished with their homework and I wanted to get some lights on and get the fireplace going. I still haven't changed that. Um, it's a manual little calendar I got from Target and it's very cute, but I haven't changed it. I think it still says January 31st on it. But anyway, um, I also want to show you the chickens. I try to let them out every day so they can kind of go eat around the grass and stuff. But since it was raining, I put them back in. So if you want to say hi to them, give this video a thumbs up. Blanca loves the rain. She doesn't care. I also was going to try to plant a kind of um, early spring garden, but obviously not happening here. And it is pouring rain as I'm doing this voiceover. So I guess we're not going to be doing gardening this weekend either. But now that I have kind of settled into my evening, the first thing I kind of wanted to do is light a candle and just kind of set the mood to calm the house down. I feel like when the kids get home from school, everybody has so much energy and I just like to keep things calm. I picked up these really beautiful um, rose scented incense sticks when I was on my trip to Arizona and I forgot I had purchased them. They had them going in some of the different meditations that I went to and I just thought it'd be so lovely to light that and all the kids came downstairs like what is that smell <laughs> um, but it was my first time ever lighting these and it's so lovely I don't know if you guys ever use that but um, all you have to do is light them blow them out and then I found this really pretty little rose holder so we're just going to tuck that in the corner I'm going to get some candles going and I wanted to set the table since the kids were done doing their homework uh, before we get to dinner, I am going to be cooking a delicious recipe in the, this video as well. So don't forget to wait till the end to see how that turns out. I don't know why, but for many years, I've always set a pretty formal dining table for the kids and um, my husband and I to eat at night. And I was in our pantry where I keep all of my stuff. A lot of my stuff I get from home goods, I want to say, but I don't know. Even saying that makes me want to go see if they have any good spring stuff out. Um, but I've been watching my friend Tori has a YouTube channel and <laughs> I love she does all of these shopping. I'll link her down below, but she does all of these kind of like shopping trips. She doesn't buy a whole ton, but I just love to see what's in all the stores. And the other day I was watching one of her videos and there was um, a really cute plate set that she had shown in her TJ Maxx um, haul or excuse me video and I literally stopped what I was doing and went to home goods and I found it and bought it and it was so cute so if you're looking for really good home content she does such a great job I'll link her down below but anyway I was in my pantry and I saw all these really fun greens um, and I found these really pretty napkins with the lemons I was intending on using those in the summer but I just thought it'd be a nice way to brighten up the table the kids always get kind of excited to come down and eat just to see what I put but anyway this is what tonight's tablescape looks like like lots of fun greens and a little pop of yellow. I wanted to change up the color for their water cup, so I grabbed these purple ones. And when I'm done with that, I wanna head into the living room and start getting everything clean so I could put some new decor down. I am so excited to see how the front room turns out. You guys are just gonna love it. I 
didn't really know what I wanted to do in this space. I am looking to get new couches in here. We have so many stains on these couches from the kids and our pets and just a million things. And I don't, I can't just throw them away and just go buy another couch. So I'm, we are going to be doing a bunch of construction in this room. I will share that process with you guys. I'm also going to um, try to put together a video about our bathroom remodel. I don't know if you guys remember, but in um, late September, we had a flood in our bathroom and we had to gut it and redo it. But right when that happened, we, um, my mom passed away unexpectedly. So I didn't, I didn't film it. I kind of just stopped doing a whole bunch of things, but I, I do want to share the transformation with you guys and share all the things we did. So I'm going to be doing that. And then this room will definitely take you along on the journey of making this a really beautiful space. But um, I can't wait to get rid of those couches because I love them, but the kids just absolutely destroyed them. I don't think white couches are meant for this family. So I'm going to be going with maybe a gray. I don't know. Send some links down below if you guys know of some really beautiful couches you think would work for this space. Um, but I wanted to bring back the feeling of spring. So I added these. Everything I'm using today, except for a couple of pillows, are, um, I've had for years. If you guys remember the Victorian, those used to sit in the entry or the hallway between the kitchen and the dining room. And then I've got some really beautiful picks that, again, I've had for a very long time. Time. I want to say these are from Hobby Lobby. I used to put them on my porch, so they're a little discolored. They used to be white, but I think the sun kind of um, gave them a little yellow kiss, if you will. And then I had some really pretty purple picks from a couple years ago that I'm just kind of stuffing here so it doesn't get too white. I tend to stick to really simple colors, and I want to be able to bring more colors into this room. So I think the blue and whites look really pretty, but we're just going to tuck in some lavender and some other little purple picks as well. I just love how wild and free and beautiful this area turns out. these olive trees back but I decided to push the side table with the large um, lamps just a little bit further back we don't use them as much um, in this room we actually don't go in this room as much I really wish we could transform this room into a space that we spend more time in but it's just honestly it feels like such a waste of space at times I wish there was, um, I wish this room was connected to the kitchen, but anywho, the kids still play basketball in here. So it's getting lots of good use and the kids are loving it. So that part makes sense. And there I was with my world falling apart, hoping just to get by. I decided to actually move this table and put the little stools behind the couches. I just thought it'd be such an easier way to kind of utilize these spaces. I try not to put too much by the front door because whatever decor I put on a table by the front door, I have to take it down or I don't, but the kids do um, so that they can play basketball. So, but this area, the ball never really goes over here. I've only had like one casualty in all the times that they played ball in here. I do miss having decor, but I'd rather have more fun with the kids because this season of of having little kids is going by so fast, so I really don't mind it much. But over here, I thought I'd add these new lamps I picked up from Target. I love, I love the window pane print. I think I said this in a previous video while wearing window pane print, but it's just a beautiful um, kind of change from just a regular static color. And then I just wanted to add these horses that we recently picked up. I don't know who the artist is. Um, my husband's really familiar with it, but um, it's a beautiful piece. I'll try to do a video of it later. Maybe one of you know what it is. And then this is the bus that used to be at our Victorian. I want to just put in the corner. I just love it. It brings such a sophisticated sense to this corner, but I'm slowly getting away from those contemporary pieces and really getting back to my style. And it just feels so much like home. I sing, I'm with you. And 
down to Mexico I'm turning up the radio Cause I'm with you now You and me, we know that love is in the air I want to say these green pillows, the ones um, that are in front, are the ones that I saw on Tori's channel when she did her Home Goods TJX um, kind of shop with me. And those are the ones I went and found. I was so happy there. They have stripes on one side, which you guys know I love. And then this nice little paisley print. And then I found these other really soft ones. This is a really, really pale green. And then I found these pillows that are kind of for Easter, but I love the check print. I'm actually looking for blue check print chairs. So if you see those anywhere, definitely send them to me over on Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson, or you can send it to me here. But I really love that print. I love that color. I'm definitely going back to that French country style. I love um, with a mix of kind of early California um, art and things like that, but I just can't wait till it all comes together. I added these two stools we've had forever. I want to say we've had those for like four years and a little basket, this little um, bowl of, I don't even know, like dried things smells so good i got it at home goods it smells so good and then i thought i'd just put our other piece of art here by the wall and um these are some orchids from my mom's service that we have been keeping alive and i just love them i need to change the little ribbon out from christmas to something very sweet and fall um, her favorite color was green so i have lots of green in the house while i think about all of our wonderful memories together how this room looks it almost feels like you're shopping in one of those like back in the day <clears throat> I was born in the 80s but like in the 90s they used to have this place I think it was called Thomasville but like you would go into all these like fake living rooms you could buy things in this little vignettes but there's always like this dead space between them this reminds me of that when I was a kid but um, I think it turned out beautiful we just need to conquer the dead space I can't just keep putting like chairs and tons of couches in here so any design ideas I would love to see them send them to me over on Instagram if you want to just write them out on a piece of paper it is one big square I was saying to my husband how nice it'd be to put two floor to ceiling um, giant narrow windows um, to the left and right of the new fireplace and then maybe doing French doors out the front with putting in like a larger porch um, but every time I start to think about doing things to this house I realize like I literally am just trying to make it look like a different house and I need to just enjoy parts of it. But anyway, um, these are all the cute little details of this um, part of the living room. I'll try to remember to link down below. Those olive trees came, I want to say, from Amazon. Um, but they're really, they actually really have great quality. And all of these stems are either from Target or Hobby Lobby. Those are the only two places I ever purchased stems. Just because I think they're, um, like even this light blush, purple those are all hearth and hand by the way from target they come out every single year but i just think the quality is really great great and the prices are great uh, so if you're looking for something like that i think around this time or maybe later in the summer you'll find that there are really great sales on picks at hobby lobby like you just can't beat the prices and then these blue and white urns i picked up from home goods many many years ago i've had them for a long time and then i have my miss ellie statue and um, these are the pillows 
that I picked up. They're so soft and lovely. I'm loving the green. I think it's just a great pop of color for this space. So it's not too blue and white. And then please don't mind my boxes over there. I have just been collecting boxes for a while, but I wanted to turn the heater on and let's, excuse me, the fireplace on, and then we're gonna head into the kitchen and get cooking. Tonight I wanted to make a coconut lime uh, chicken over rice. I found three recipes that all looked very good. But of course, I had to mix and match them to kind of bring the flavors out that I really wanted. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. When my world was falling apart and hoping just to get by but Without knowing it, I still play it by heart and sing like to make a little snack um, especially if a dinner is going to take more than 30 minutes which this one took about 30 30 40 minutes to make so tonight I'm going to be making our kids will love this I wish sometimes I could share my kids at to some degree on this channel just so you could see how excited they get this is actually what I eat work by basic I eat at work but this is basically cucumbers and then I wrap them in um, I like to get those little seaweed packs. They actually have really good deals on um, them at Costco and Whole Foods, I found, um, not at Target. But um, I like to take the teriyaki seaweed and then wrap it in either uh, cucumbers or avocado. It is life-changing good. Or you can also use a little bit, it has to be the whipped cream cheese. You can put a little whipped cream cheese to connect two of them and then roll up um, either cucumber or avocado. It is so good. So our kids devour that. They get so excited. I swear I wish I could show you. Um, but I do not show my kids on my channel. So they're gonna snack on that so they don't eat junk and I'm gonna get started. So here are the three recipes that I looked at. I ended up taking two of them. One was just had a lot of different stuff and it sounded great, didn't have the time for it, but we're just gonna mix in some coconut milk and then two table or teaspoons of um, cornstarch. I'm gonna add a little sweet chili um, Asian uh, sauce in here. It's so good. I got all of this from Whole Foods and everything was on sale, which was great. I'm gonna add a little agave syrup in here. You can also add honey and then some lime juice. Go ahead and mix all of that up. I'm also gonna be adding in some spicy chilies and soy sauce. So again, taking two recipes and joining them together. And then I'm gonna actually set that aside. I was nervous that the chili sauce was gonna to be too spicy for the kids. It absolutely wasn't. They didn't even notice that it was in here. I ended up adding some more um, to my husband and my plate uh, towards the end. Um, one of the recipes called for some dried basil, so I added that. I absolutely did not taste the basil whatsoever, but we are gonna be adding fresh cilantro and basil to this recipe. You gotta wait till the end. Next thing I'm gonna do is take two chicken breasts, slice them in half. If yours um, are thicker on one side than the other, just go ahead and put some um, in a uh, like plastic bag and use a mallet and pound them out so they're all the same so they cook evenly. Then I'm gonna use some flour, a little bit of salt, some ginger, turmeric. Um, I use a little garlic salt and some coriander to just kind of bring some flavors into this chicken while we let it sit. Then we're gonna fry that in a pan with two tablespoons of butter and just a little bit of olive oil. Um, one uh, recipe called for um, chili oil, but again, um, that would be so great if it was just for my husband and I, but I wanted to feed this to the kids as well, so I omitted that part, but God, it sounded so good. going to be using one cast iron skillet for this entire recipe. Uh, it's another thing I really like about it. Very simple, except for the rice. I did use a, a pot for that, but I'm going to submerge three of the chicken breasts into some melted butter and let that cook for about three to four minutes on each side or until done. And then I'm going to chop up all of the ingredients that we are going to use as a garnish in this recipe. I love fresh herbs. I have to tell you, it's like one, of, it's like a little life luxury to like add fresh basil, cilantro, 
Um, I love dill. I love tarragon. I love fresh, fresh herbs. This year in my garden, I plan on having one garden bed that has all herbs. So we're going to chop up all the ingredients we need to finish this recipe. One of them is some very finely chopped ginger. So I'm just going to chop that up. I'm going to put everything in bowls just so that it's very easy. The kids can come over and garnish their dinner um, with the pieces that they like. Some of my kids don't like cilantro and whatnot. So they don't have to use that. And then I chopped up about four to six pieces of garlic. And then I'm gonna chop up our fresh basil and some other delicious herbs to put on top and set those aside. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Now that everything's done, I want to get some rice cooking. So we're going to add some rice and finish cooking the chicken. One of my kids really wanted to make a dessert. So I went into the pantry and I had some of that pumpkin bread um, mixture from uh, Trader Joe's. And I thought that'd be something easy she could do that wasn't too hard. So she's going to cook that. It was actually delicious. We made a coconut cream topping and it was so good. I love cooking with my kids. Um, it's one of the reasons that I don't always show myself cooking because I don't like to show them here on my channel. I mean, you can see their arms, but yes, they do exist. Um, but for the most part, there's so much that we do together as a family that I don't actually show you guys, but I wanted to show you that a lot of times while I'm cooking, one of the kids is in the kitchen prepping ingredients or making a fun dessert or something like that. So she's going to make some pumpkin bread and I'm going to get finished on our chicken. So the last thing we need to do is actually make the sauce. We're going to keep the oil that's already in our pan and just kind of cook down our the red parts of the green onion. I'm going to add our ginger in here and I'm also going to add our garlic and cook that down for about, I don't know, 30 to 60 seconds until translucent translucent and fragrant. And then I'm going to pour in that delicious coconut mixture that we made at the beginning of this uh, part of the video. We're going to let that kind of come to a simmer and we're going to be adding back in our chicken. The cornstarch will thicken this sauce up and it is so good. The last thing we need to do is put the pumpkin bread into the oven because it made the perfect dessert this evening. It was still pouring rain and it felt so good to have a nice dessert. I'll show you how the chicken turns out and I'm also going to make a little naan bread instead of like a toast or something. And for that, I just add a little bit of butter and some garlic on top, cook that for about four to five minutes and chop it up and it's so delicious. Colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my world of fire. You're my heart's desire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. Take me away, I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire For plating, I wanted to use a deeper dish, so I'm just going to use this one. I think I got this at World Market, I don't remember, but I'm going to add a nice delicious pile of rice and then two of these chicken breasts and then I also wanted to kind of just tilt this cast iron skillet to the side and scoop out some of those um, that yummy juice that's at the bottom. It's so good. And then I'm going to garnish the adults with um, all kinds of delicious herbs. I decided to go with cilantro and basil. I know those seem to be um, kind of comp competing flavors, but together they're so good. I also added some green onions and an avocado to the side. I thought with this, we wouldn't need a salad. I thought it'd just be like a nice addition. And then I wanted to add some of those Serrano peppers. They're very spicy, but the heat is so delicious. Um, I didn't want to get them on my fingers. So <laughs> I used, um, we got these tongs for a cooking class we did with our kids. It was so much fun. But anyway, here is dinner. This recipe was so delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video real soon. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or oh,